Good afternoon, everybody. I hope all healthcare providers and everybody around is healthy, happy, and doing well. Uh, a short information regarding the depth. What, is, what can be a good depth? Due to my knowledge, due to my experience, uh, what I will explain, I will say the best depth for any scanning when you do your, if it's any type of scanning, if it's uh, echocardiography, vascular, small parts, abdomen, OBGYN, MSK, uh, TCD, or any, any of the scanning part, you go for it. Uh, I would prefer what I do personally, uh, where your target tissue is, just go one centimeter below that. Just for example, if we look at here, let me share a whiteboard. That's what I prefer because it has a lot of benefits, but one of the best benefit is it will bring your frame rate really high. And we all want our images to come with high frame rate. For example, if your sound is coming from this area, pretend it, this is a probe area, pretend it. Now, if you have a target tissue somewhere in this area, and now pretend if this target tissue is somewhere at five centimeter or 50 millimeter. So if it's here, and we all know when the sound pulses are coming, so if they come and they hit this anatomy or interest of uh, the area of interest. So it's a lot better if you could go one centimeter extra, just extra, go and make your depth to this point. That's like pretended, this is the bottom of your picture. Because why I'm saying this, I have seen most of the pictures, some of the doctors, um, I don't know why, but maybe they have a reason for that too. They go a lot with the depth. For example, if they are scanning from this point, for example, if this is their transducer and they send their pulses like this, if they're looking something in three centimeter, just pretend it, three centimeter, I have seen their depth is almost like, I can say 10 centimeter. Why? Because you give too much work to your machine and the machine become very slow with that. And that is causing the temporal resolution and temporal resolution is directly related to the frame rate. So if you decrease your temporal resolution, it means you're also doing a lot of work for the machine to give you the pictures. The machine has to send the pulse all the way to the 10 centimeter depth. Even you do not need. If you are not looking to the area, for example, after this, this area is not necessary to be in the picture. Then why your depth is too much? Print your depth to this point, like one centimeter from the area of the interest. Pretend it, just pretend it. You're looking something in this area. That's your, uh, that's the area of the interest. Then just that much is enough. This much is enough. One centimeter, this depth, extra depth, that is good depth. And this will give you a really good uh, frame rate. Now, we all know, you guys are really familiar with that, that the frame rate is nothing else. It's the numbers of pictures, the number of images per second. We want too many pictures in one second because most of the machines, uh, it depends on the manufacturer, but uh, most of these machines, they will give you like around five to seven seconds some of them maybe like three seconds, four seconds, but most of the machine from five to seven seconds, they they will col collect the memory and they will give you in the shape of the frame rate. So if you have more pictures, like a lot of pictures, you increase the number of pictures per second. Now you have more chances to see you back when, once you freeze the picture, you see you back and you look for the best image quality because all images are not the same. There will be a few pictures, which explain the pathology or the normal anatomy, but the picture, I mean, that will be the best picture. That will be like amazing resolution and it will explain everything. So again, that's my advice. That's, that's what I do. So if you think you do not need too much depth, one centimeter is enough because that one centimeter will give you the neighborhood area. That will tell you if, what are you looking to? The around area it will also be telling you how much that area will be damaged because of that. For example, there's a tumor. 
there is a calcification, there is an upset, there is whatever you're looking to. One centimeter depth, you're looking a little down to that. So that's the neighborhood you're looking. If there is anything which was affected because of the one centimeter above what the pathology was, so at least you can see that neighborhood. So once again, I think do not increase your depth unnecessarily. If it's not needed, don't do it because that's too much load on your machine. And let your machine to be happy to give you a very diagnostic picture. So this was, I think, um, it just came to my mind because I have seen a lot of the pictures, the doctors, um, maybe they forgot or they don't pay attention to that. Then they will give you the machine is also compensating with you. So let's make your machine happy to give you better image quality. Have a nice day. Thank you and see you later. Take care.